have cramps, you want to pinch your biceps to instantly reduce some of that pain. So I just played tennis yesterday and my calves, and I haven't played in over a year, and so my calves, man, just even walking, my calves are like super tight. So what I've been doing for myself, and something you can do if you haven't exercised in a while, is you wanna pinch your biceps, right? Pinch your biceps, because this muscle, your biceps right here, correspond basically to your calves, right? So your calves, these are just muscles. So by pinching your biceps, and you pinch it like this, right? That will increase the blood circulation to your calves, which will help decrease some of that lactic acid buildup. That's why you're feeling the cramps. That's why you're feeling the stiffness and tightness. So pinch both biceps, pinch both biceps, and that will help both of your calves. Make sure you comment below and make, on how this works. Follow this post. Follow me on TikTok. Suffering from chronic pain after an injury while doing household chores? Try these three lifestyle changes that will help you to improve your pain from peripheral neuropathy. As you deal with neuropathy, this journey isn't as easy as it seems, but there are a number of things you can do, not to cure your condition but to manage it until you address a treatment with a medical professional. If you are smoking, you should stop. It can impair your blood circulation and worsen your symptoms. It would be great if you changed your diet, cutting out as much sugar as possible and revolve your diet with only proper and healthy foods. And take care of your feet by massaging them. It will help to relieve the numbness and weakness that is caused by your peripheral neuropathy. For more health tips, follow Achieve Integrative Health. Feeling tired? This is the one exercise of all exercise to revitalize your body. Very simple. This is like reflexology. Say like reflexology is in your hands, right? There's nerves in your hands that correlate to every single organ in your body, every part of your body. So all you gotta do every single morning is just this. Right? For one exercise of one. You can call this the uh what do you call this chopstick. <laughs> we can go inside, okay, and each because every single these activate all these nerves that correlate to every single part of your body, which increases blood circulation throughout your whole body into your organs. Do this every single morning, do it for uh, two minutes every single morning, and just watch your energy start to improve, your body get revitalized, you know, and don't forget your thumbs, right? You want to go inside, we do slow motion, slow motion, and like that, slow motion, do it like that, right? So every day, two minutes, right? Let me know how it works. Make sure you follow me here on TikTok. Avoiding activities because chronic pains interferes with it? Let's stop it by doing these three coping tips for your chronic pain. Learn to prioritize exercising. Exercise can produce endorphins that helps you feel better by suppressing pain signals while also improving your mood. Track your pain level up to 1 to 10. You should be aware on how tolerable the pain you're experiencing and address it immediately to your doctor in order for him slash her understand your situation and provide the treatment you can do. List all the activities you've done. Some activities can be a trigger for your condition, so be careful of what you're doing and know your triggers. For more health tips, follow Achieve Integrative Health. You got numbness tingling down your legs, then you want to do the Kung Fu kick to increase the blood circulation. Get rid of that numbness and tingling, all right? So this is some exercise you can do every single day. You know, I'm going to do a four sting uh, in front right now. And what you're going to do, make sure you have your balance. You're just going to do a Kung Fu kick, okay? You're going to do it Kung Fu kick. Kung Fu kick, you're going to do it 50 times. So each leg kick 50 times, right? So if you look from the side, this is what it's going to look like. And it's going to get your balance and a kung fu kick, right? And get it out right there. Get your legs straight. You don't have to kick so hard. You, you know, don't hurt yourself, don't fall. But you can just do it like this, right? Slowly. And you can kick it low if you can't go high. Like I can't go very high. So I'm going to kick it low. What this does is it stretches out all the muscles, improves the blood circulation. The reason why you're having those numbness and tingling, one is circulation issues down your legs, but it also could be a pinched nerve down here. And so by doing these Kung Fu kicks, it starts to loosen everything, all in your legs and even in, in your sciatica, in your lower back, your tailbone. So do 50 times, right? Um, if you need a chair, like you can have, let's say, if you need some support, you can grab a chair. I'm gonna grab some grab a chair right here, and you can kick like that, right? Just do it 50 times every single day, okay? And you can get higher and higher and higher as you go, right? Give this a try, let me know how it works. Make sure you follow me here on TikTok.